Hello my luminates, it is Ivy and welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new here, hello my name is Ivy, also known as Intuitive Ivy and here on this channel and on Etsy.com slash shop slash Intuitive Ivy and where I do tarot and oracle card readings. Now if you are new to this channel, consider hitting that subscribe button if you are into the mystical, the supernatural, and the magical, also otherwise known as the occult. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to be notified when I post. I try to post between two to three times a week. So today, you guys, it is official. We're officially starting spring. Like, the spring equinox has begun. Ostada's right around the corner. So today I wanted to do a pick a card reading for your spring predictions. So you, personally, you, what do your spring predictions look like? Keep in mind this is a very general reading because we only got four piles and however many people that are gonna watch this. Like always with these pick a card readings, you just go to, you just pick the pile that calls to you the most. So I'm gonna show you four piles here. And take a moment to close your eyes, meditate on it if you want, or just feel, just look at whatever card is calling to you. Do not look with your eyes, but with your third eye. And whatever, it, whatever pile is pulling you the most, that more than likely is the deck for you. And if for some reason you go through it and it seems to not be the one that resonated with you, go back and try again. You might have just... You may have just picked the wrong pile. So I will also put down the timestamps below where the piles are going to be. So you will see that down in the description below. So let's get started. So for pile number one, so the first thing that I see is the personal theme for the season. So starting off with the magician. So your theme for this season is going to be all about having all the tools that you need to conquer your goals. I see the King of Wands, which means that you might be having some creative goals. So the theme for this season is going to be all about getting all those tools that you need and finding that you have all that within you, all those skills that you need, all that creativity that you need. You have everything at your fingertips and this season is going to be the time to work on whatever skills you need to obtain your goals. So I see that for you. Another thing that we see for you is some personal growth. So the, the another thing for this season is not only will you be gaining more skills and becoming more knowledgeable with accomplishing goals, but you're also going to be growing internally as well. It is going to be growing from within as well. You're going to see a lot of personal growth, a lot of skill grows, a lot of creativity flowing. We got a lot of creativity flowing. Um, we're going to be in Aries, so which it, which explains the King of Wands card. So being in Aries, especially transitioning, now transitioning into Aries, see a lot of creat creative juices flowing. You know, so if there's any goals that you want to achieve, any hobbies that you want to pick up that are more on the creative side, any sort of art, any sort of things that really require imagination, just being really creative and working on your own stuff, that right now is going to be the time to work on that. So along with personal growth, we have some healing. So right, so it's going to be a time for healing during this season. We got some healing going on within you. We got some healing some internal issues that we are healing this might either be like physical health issues that we might be healing or just our darker shadow self working on our shadow work and healing that so that we can grow and not only that but also working on other external creative goals as well so i see that theme for you the, the next thing that we see for you pal number one the next thing that we see for you pal number one is going to be what you accomplish so we've got first here the Seven of Swords, we've got the Five of Wands, we've got the Empress, we've got your hard work is paying off, we've got your commitment is being tested, the uh, first quarter moon, we got happy ending and we got time out. So a few things that I see is you're going to be healing some issues that you might be having with either another person or this could be a group of people so I don't know if you've been having any family issues or any issues with some friendships but some sort of external problem where you either felt betrayed or they felt like you betrayed them 
it's going to be healed this season. I see that you're really going to work towards really helping heal that situation and you guys are going to move forward from it. So with whether this be family, I'm getting... Spirit is kind of telling me that it's family. I feel like this is going to be more family that you guys may be having issues with. That you're going to actually be able to heal this season. Like I said, this might be something where you might have spoken without thinking and they got very upset about it. Or it may be vice versa where they did that where they did that and they were outspoken and you kind of sort of miss them and they kind of sort of miss you and you guys are going to be healing and moving forward. It looks like you've been doing a lot of work in order to fix this issue already. So whether you've been trying to reach out to them or whether you've been, um, you know, really working on yourself and being like, dang, I really messed up. Just you taking that into awareness, that's, that's, it's already putting in work, knowing that the fact that you must, you know that you messed up or you try to put in the work that even though they messed up and you had some sort of issue that you're putting in that work to resolve it. Um, so I see all these um, all these issues that you guys had something that you said that was hurtful or something that they said that was hurtful I see this coming to a close and with a happy ending here We see that this is going to be a very good ending this time of um, struggle this time of argue, arguing and fighting with someone else is going to come to a close um, and I see that you guys are going to enter a new little era of peace because now that you guys took in some time apart So whoever this is you've taken some time apart from them or they've taken some part time apart from you You guys had that time that space to really think about what you guys did in order to truly resolve this issue And I see you guys I see this issue coming to a close um, another thing that I see you accomplish here with the Empress card, this is all about abundance, this is all about manifesting, this is all about creativity. So I want to say again, with the theme that we have for this season, you've got a lot of creative juices flowing, you're going to be, you're going to be learning some new skills, you're going to be heal not only healing internally, but you're going to be you're going to be creating stuff. You're going to be creating and you're going to either be working on some new creative skills. Um, and I see that you really accomplishing something this season when it comes to some sort of creative output. So there, whether this be a creative project that you've been working on, whether this be like a, like a side business or a side hustle or even like a business that you want to start, something that uses your creative skills, I see you really working on that and accomplishing that this season so what should you avoid this season we've got the judgment card we've got page of swords we've got ordinariness we've got lovers we've got guilt okay so a few different things here so some things that you should avoid for this season pile number one is there might be some sort of thought where you feel guilty you might be having some sort of thoughts where you feel guilty and they might not have not arised yet, but they're going to arise this season. So try to avoid feeling that way. You might be feeling guilty about some either a past relationship or in the relationship that you're in. You may have done something. This could even be the argument that you were having with the other person where you might have done something behind their back that you're not very proud of and you're going to feel really guilty about it. It's going to be something that's eating you up inside. Don't let that guilt get in your way. Don't put that idea, those pessimistic thoughts into your head try to avoid thinking that way and instead try to think of an, in a more positive positive light with the judgment card we see that that's coming to that that's coming to a close that argument that you had I feel like for some of you this is the relationship that you guys had an argument with and that's what's going to be solved this month um and but you're still going to be feel guilty about it just know that it's coming to a close know that everything happens for a reason with a judgment card this is a new beginning the reason why it happened that way was to teach you a lesson and spirit wants you to know that some other things you should avoid is ordinariness so I feel like this goes hand in hand with that creative output don't fall into like a routine where you start to get bored of this creative outlet make sure that it's something that keeps your interest something that you're passionate about something that feels extraordinary not ordinary avoid falling into this boring routine and make sure that you're working on those passions and that creative energy that you're going to be having flowing through you because it's it's going to be there and it's going to be strong some things that you should embrace is the ace of cups so i have two different things that you should embrace here we got the ace of cups and we have intuition so 
I love this because this pretty much means the same thing. Ace of Cups can also symbolize some creative energy as well. I know that the wands are most commonly known for creativity, but cups can also be considered creative outlets in some um, tarot books and stuff like that. So this could also be your creative juices are flowing. So embrace that creative side that's about to come out. Not, not only that, I feel like you're going to be having a heightened sense of intuition, a heightened gut feeling. Follow those gut feelings, those gut sensations, that intuition, that inner voice that's talking to you. It's going to be stronger now more than ever. So pay attention to that. That's something that you should embrace. Um, and know when it's your intuition calling you and not, and not when it's guilt and not when it's the pessimistic thoughts but those deep gut feelings that you have trust those not the ones that make you feel bad because intuition is not going to make you feel bad but those feelings that are like like yes let's do this or no i shouldn't do that those are going to be your gut feelings and I, they're going to be extra heightened this season uh pile number one so that's something that you should watch out for as well so you're gonna have a few obstacles, just like everyone has obstacles throughout the year. Um, you're gonna have a few obstacles this uh, season. We've got the King of Pentacles and then we've got Perseverance. So um, some obstacles that you might be having might be getting that. So I feel like some of you, this creative thing that you're gonna wanna do, it might be a business idea that you wanna get off, you wanna get off the ground and you might be you might be struggling a little bit with it this season you might want to you may not have that patience you're gonna you're gonna want to see instant gratification basically for you um, also not even just if you're starting a small business but if you're working on any creative outlet or you're trying to learn a new skill it might not be something that you grasp right away um, just know that things come within time uh, but just keep on going, perseverance, persevere, um, because know that everything that is entitled to you will be yours. Um, also, again, this doesn't have to be... So also, like I said, um, some of you might... This might be the creative outlet. For some of you, this might just be abundance in general. Some of you might be going through a hard time financially. Some of you might be working... Uh, a lot to just try to make a living to try to get by to try to be more successful and I see that that's something that it's an obstacle that you're gonna have to um, that you're gonna have to face this season you might be working a lot to get this um, to get this financial abundance you might be uh, putting in a lot of effort to get this financial abundance and you may not see it right away but just be patient because you will persevere so the next thing is where you will find support for this season so we got the full card and we've got love so I feel like so I feel that Somebody, somebody that's going to support you is yourself. Loving yourself, turning within, especially with this personal growth and this healing that we got here. You healing from this guilt, you healing from these arguments, you healing from your past. I see, I see you really turning, turning to yourself for support, for love. I see you growing more confidently and beautifully and really just learning how to be more spontaneous and taking more risks which in turn is going to make you a more confident person um so i see you really turning into yourself for support and you just learning how to truly love yourself and really embracing your confidence uh, okay so some actions that you need to take this season we got the star so the star is all about um hope it's all about dreams it's all about imagining so some actions that you need to take is really write down take some time to write down those goals maybe even start manifestation journaling also known as scripting so writing down all your goals as if you've already achieved them and how you feel about achieving them read that every single day that's something that Read that every single day in order to manifest what you want. That's an action that you should take this month. That way you can stay on track with your goals, stay on track with whatever creative uh, project or hobby that you're taking up or whatever financial um, whatever financial struggle you're trying to overcome and persevere from. So another thing is that ambition. So like with the star, I also see 
that's another thing just really work on scripting I feel like scripting is gonna be really good for you this season really writing down those goals because it's gonna make you motivated and ambitious to really reach those goals that you're going for another thing that you should focus on taking action this month is following your dreams so more again just really working on scripting look up videos on how to script I can link some down below but really writing down those goals and really it's gonna really make you feel motivated and ambitious to keep going so follow your dreams this season I see a lot of positive things coming for you pile number one some advice for you pile number one we got the six of swords we've got the six of Pentacles We've got the beaver, which says investing in home comforts provides security and family togetherness. Um, and then we have, and then we have change. So some advice that you have for you is to uh, invest in your home comfort, not, not investing like financial wise, but spending some time with your family if this person that you feel guilty about that you're going to be subsiding those arguments with is a, a significant other a spouse anything like that just really paying attention to them this season um, this might just be whoever whoever if, if you had a problem with your family like I said for most of you this might be a problem with your family that you had really pay attention to your family after that argument subsides and really pay attention to really tune into family life I feel like that's going to be a really big uh, focus for you as well um, this season some other things some other pieces of advice that you have for you are we got the six of swords and the six of pentacles so that's really overcoming so this is all about like overcoming um, any sort of obstacles getting over that guilt getting over really learning how to let go and truly heal from things so healing from these arguments healing from the guilt really moving forward from that um also you got two six cards and six in numerology is all about like the nurture it's all about community it's all about communication it's all about togetherness and family um so i feel like this again I, this is another reason why i feel like this is your family that you might be um arguing with just really focus on your family and becoming that nurturing type for them um is is going to be something that you should that spirit advises you to do this season with the six of pentacles maybe giving some gifts this doesn't have to be literal gifts this doesn't have to like literally be showering them with like lots of money if you don't have it just give them that even giving them that time and that energy just giving them a phone call is something that and just making time for them it can be a gift itself um, and also change change is also going to be something so you spending more time with your family or you spending more time with your significant other this is going to be something that shifts internally that's going to help really uh, connect you guys in a much deeper scale and in a much deeper way um, and then the last thing we got your a zodiac card these are called zodiac cards um, just because they have that zodiac in the back your zodiac card is be careful with of a blonde you know so if there is some sort of blonde this could either be an actual blonde or this could be somebody that dyed their hair blonde maybe somebody that had their hair blonde and just dyed it but there's gonna be somebody um, more specifically it's saying a blonde um, be careful around them this is going to be a wolf and sheep's clothing this is somebody that might appear as a friend um, but just know that this is not somebody that has the best intentions for you they're sort of a parasite they don't want to see you happy and they are going to discourage you from um, staying motivated and keep on go and to keep on going so try to avoid this person as much as possible so that is what I see for you, pile number one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and again, if you haven't yet, hit, consider hitting that subscribe button to become another member of our growing Illuminite family. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. All right, pile number two. If you picked pile number two, this message is going to be for you. So the first thing that I'm going to take a look at is what is going to be your theme for this season? Like what? big things are going to pop out um, during the season. So the first thing that we have is the King of Swords. So we've got a lot of uh, mental clarity, a lot of clearing up mentally, getting through the fog of things, really getting your thoughts together and your thought process. Um, 
as well as we got the High Priestess, which is super awesome. So this is all about intuition, tuning into yourself, and I see you really taking that time to turn inwards and really grow yourself internally, working on your intuition. I see a lot of, I see some spiritual work going on, so this could be either you entering a spiritual awakening here with the Hermit Crab. This is you spending, looking within and spending some time. This might be you taking up meditation and really tuning into your more spiritual self. This season, I feel like in you tuning into yourself and really getting, growing your intuition and you really working on your spiritual side is going to not only cause a spiritual awakening, but it's going to cause some, some mental clarity as well. You might be thinking more op optimistic and really learning how to see things in a much better, greater light. Um, we also got the Ten of Pentacles, so I see a lot of attention on family and balancing out family and home life. Um, and then as have faith in your dreams, so having some faith in your dreams and then some rebirth, rebirth. So like I said, you really turning into yourself, turning into your inner spiritual self, having that spiritual awakening, really rebirthing and becoming a new person, breaking out of your shell and really embracing your spiritual spiritual side is going to be another big theme for you uh, this season. And lastly, abundance. Yes, because with that mental clarity, you being more optimistic, you being more spiritually in tune with yourself, you're going to be able to become a a master manifester you're gonna be able to just bring about abundance because you are clear your thoughts are clear you're thinking happily optimistically and I see a lot of abundance coming your way as well so a lot of amazing amazing themes this month for you pile number two now looking at what you're going to be accomplishing this season so a lot obviously a lot you're gonna be tuning into yourself I see judgment so this is a spiritual awakening yes Yes, pile number two, you're gonna be spiritually awoken. You're gonna be rebirthing, really embracing your spiritual self and really open up the opening up that third eye and that crown chakra and really being in tune and manifesting and just letting go of the old and bringing in the new. That's what I see for you. A lot of awesome, awesome things. The next thing is the two of wands. Okay, so another thing that I see for you that you're accomplishing this season is going to be taking that action, um, obviously taking that action into like becoming spiritually aware, tuning into yourself and really uh, clearing up those mental thoughts. I see you become, I see you accomplishing a lot of balance, um, like I said, with your work and home life. Not only that, but just becoming this amazing um, manifester and you're just going to be overflowing with like blessings and abundance. I see you really putting in a lot of effort and really accomplishing a lot of things because you're putting in a lot of effort and you're trying harder than ever to really, really tuning in, into yourself and really finding yourself and really awakening that inner you and I see you doing that. A little warning here is um, we got the full moon in Leo, which is don't let pride get in your way. Make sure that you're not letting pride get in your way. Another thing that you're going to be achieving is teaching and learning. So you're going to be, just like you're going to be working on yourself internally, you're going to have that spiritual awakening. You're going to be opening up all those chakras. All those chakras are going to be unblocked. You're going to be learning how to really tune into yourself and really enlighten yourself. And not only that, but you doing that is going to help other people and you're going to be able to help other people through that process as well because you have already experienced it. So one thing I do see is a love partnership um, that I see you guys. So so the another thing that I see for you guys, this is for those that are in a relationship. This is not going to be for everyone. Um, I see a love partnership. So um, if you are in a relationship, you might have been having some rough waters. You might have been having a lot of arguments, a lot of conflicts with your significant other. I see that that's going to subside and there's going to be some passion, some romance. You guys are going to be reigniting those sparks and that time of arguing is going to be done and over with that's going to be done and over with those rough waters those arguments those conflicts are going to be done and you guys are going to move on to a new phase of your relationship where you are reigniting your sparks and reigniting that romance and that passion some things that you might want to avoid this month pile number two we've got the king of pentacles we've got the six of pentacles we've got the nine of pentacles we've got beyond illusion 
and we've got the fool so a few things <laughs> a few things okay so this season you're going to be working on a lot of internal issues so that time for rest that time to relax that time to really just not think about anything and just enjoy the simple life is not going to be something that you can do this season because you're really going to be tuning into yourself looking beyond illusion so make sure when you're going through that spiritual awakening when you really start opening up that third eye chakra make sure that you what you're what you're experiencing really is your intuition and not your inner critic right because intuition is not going to feel scary it's not going to feel terrifying it's not going to be something that causes anxiety or anything like that intuition does not feel like that intuition is a positive thing and if it if intuition is trying to tell you to like nudge you away from something it's not going to it's not going to like make you feel depressed it's, it's just gonna be like you're gonna might get a little uncomfortable feeling and be like hey i gotta go away from here but it's not gonna be something that's like really negative that's not what intuition is so seeing beyond illusion and really knowing what is your third eye and what isn't is going to be something that you're going to want to really focus on um so avoid avoid being illusionized is that a word um, another thing is going to be uh, the fool. That's something that you should avoid as well. So being naive about things, again, I feel like this goes hand in hand with the intuition and knowing the difference between your intuition and um, that inner critic. Um, some other things that I see that you may want to avoid, we got, we've got the uh, Six of Pentacles and we've got the King of Pentacles. So. Uh, don't focus since they're both pentacles cards i'm going to say this is all about materialistic things this season is not going to be directed towards you focusing on material goals or external goals it's going to be all about focusing within yourself and tuning in within so try to avoid like spending so much time with materials in the material world because that's not your focus for this season this your focus for this season is really just tuning within and learn how to be happy with the things that you already have internally versus like a mater materialistic things and materials some obstacles that you're going to face um, we've got, you, the thing about spiritual awakenings is that you're going to, you're going to go through either that shadow period, um, and you're, the thing about spiritual awakenings is that you're going to go through a shadow period. It's what happens during spiritual awakenings. It happens to most of us. And, but that's the time that we get the most, the most, we have the most growth. And I see that for you because we've got the 10 of swords. And we've got the five of cups so you're gonna really be facing your dark side like like facing it head on and it's going to confront you and hit you in the face and there's times that it's gonna feel rough you're gonna want to give up but just keep persevering because you're at the end of it like just like she's ready to give up but that light is dawning that light is shining that light is coming up you you're going to face it head on. You're going to go through some rough waters. You're going to face a lot of hardships, but do not worry because just because this is going to be the end of it. This is how you're going to finally tackle that darkness. And while you, while I don't say tackle that darkness to get rid of it because you can never get rid of your shadow side, learning how to coexist with it and instead of treating it like, instead of avoiding it, just acknowledge it and think the way that you change of it instead of instead of thinking of your and i know it's easier said than 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 done because a lot of us had gone have gone through trauma i have myself have gone through a lot of trauma and i know it's easier said than done but it's something that like instead of seeing it as this negative outlet think of it it uh, think of it as like what it taught you and the lesson that it taught you not only that but how you can teach others to heal um, from it as well and then we got synchronicity which is another obstacle that you're going to um, that you're going to face um, so this might this again I feel like goes hand in hand with all this negativity and this like past trauma that's gonna be brought up you might start to notice patterns 
um, and you're really gonna be facing those patterns head on so that's another obstacle that you're gonna face where to find support we've got the Empress and we've got the King of Cups so the Empress is going to be either a mother figure um, that you're gonna tune into support maybe you have a mother's figure that's very supportive maybe you have a mother figure that's very spiritual you tuning into whoever you see as your mother figure it doesn't have to be your literal mother it could be an older sister it could be a very um close older friend um it could be a teacher it could be somebody that you really identify as like a mother figure for me like i have a co-worker that i call like my second mom i call her my work mom that those are all mother figures um so i see you really going to them for support this season as well as the king of cups so the king of cups this is going to be somebody that's very emotionally stable they are very they are a leader they are very confident but they are also very um stable when it comes to their emotion as well as they may be a very intuitive and a very spiritual person more than likely this go is going to be a male because it is the king of cups but they that may not always be the case for everyone for some of you it may just be a female what action should you take this season I see you experiencing so experiencing the beauty of the beauty of life experiencing the beauty of the natural world of mother earth embracing the experiencing the beauty of the universe and the manifestations that come with it I see some other actions that I see you taking is slowing down. So instead of like, I think a lot of us, especially with this day and age when everything is instant, we want instant gratification. We want uh, results instantly. We want to see everything instant. They have instant meals. They have instant. It, everything is instant now and everybody wants to be instant but you instead are going to slow down really slow down and be like hey wait a minute i really have to take the time to think about this i really have to take the time from to heal from this to learn from this to grow from this to experience this to really live with this take the time to you're going to be slowing down and really taking the time to embrace everything in a way that a lot of us have forgotten about another action that you're gonna want to take we got the miser so this is all about again materialistic things try not to put too much attention on materialistic things it's not going to be very important this season and maybe in the next season but not this one focus more within some advice we've got the king of wands as well as music so this is some advice again you might be turning to somebody who has a lot of creative energy towards them um, and also listening to songs paying attention to songs there's a lot of messages that can be sent through music through lyrics so paying attention to those lyrics um, um, it might be a way of like spirit and your spirit guides to communicate with you and like really tuning into those um, spiritual messages that they have for you some things that you uh, some more things that you're gonna be going through this month is again the moon so really overcoming those uh, insecurities those fears those deep things within you um, that you need to heal from you're, you're gonna it's gonna bring up a lot of emotions it's gonna bring up a lot of anxieties it might bring up a lot of stress it might it's gonna bring up a lot of a lot of scary things but you know what you're gonna you're gonna go through this and you're gonna face it head-on we got the uh, ace of swords here which means that a breakthrough is gonna be happening you really embracing you really looking into your shadow self and doing a lot of shadow work, which I see you doing. You're really going to s suddenly get this jolt, this um, the light bulb moment, this aha moment, and you're truly going to heal from that negativity. You're truly going to heal from your past. You're truly going to heal from your trauma. That's what's really going to help you really embrace that spiritual journey that you're about to go on have that spiritual awakening um some self-care acts that i see for you is making an altar so this whether you believe in deities or not you don't have to make an altar to a deity this could just be an altar about you know spiritual things you know spiritual things you can either have like different elements something that represents the element of fire something that represents the element of water 
anything that you make an altar to your spiritual self your higher self the universe whatever it is that calls to you spiritually make an altar for that and that altar is going to be where you do all your spiritual work so this could that could just be like a desk where you do all your spiritual work my desk I do all my spiritual work another thing is a massage so get you're gonna have a lot of benefits um, to you through massage so either getting a massage done um, doing a massage on yourself um, getting somebody else to do a massage for you your significant other or actually going to like a massage parlor and getting a professional massage done is going to be something that you can that it's going to be good for you this season so some more advice for you was going to be first we got the hair which is discernment before a passionate account encounter leads to the magic of love so I feel like we talked about your uh, relationships late uh, earlier on um, where those of you that are in a relationship are going to be overcoming these rough waters and moving on and reigniting those sparks again we got the knight of pentacles which is all about materials and um taking those actions for materials so again spirit is just saying do don't worry about those materialistic things this season i mean of course you got to work you got to pay your bills that's that's understandable but don't worry don't pay too much attention to materialistic things to make you happy instead tor turn towards yourself and inwardly for things that make you happy if that makes any sense as well as some communication so make sure that there is a lot of communication going on between uh for those of you that are in a relationship some communication between you and your partner that's what's going to help keep that good uh those good sparks flowing just being really clear and communicative with it and for those of you that are not in a relationship just hearing keeping clear communication in general like I said, you going through a very you going through a spiritual awakening, you're gonna want to help others um, that are going through the same thing or that are trying to go through the same thing. So you being very you communicating and being very open um, about your experience is going to bring other people towards you. Um, so a little warning with your zodiac um, card, we got a short sorrow that you're going to have. When I asked for um, some clarification on what sort of sorrow you're going to have, I do see some. I do see some a little bit of hardship going on and this does not mean financially instead for you it means um, a little bit of misfortune in the form of an illness so either you're going to be overcome with an illness or somebody that you're very close to is going to be overcome with an illness but just know this is that this is a short sorrow right so this is not going to be something that lasts while it may feel a little bit uh, hard <laughs> while you're going through it and it, it might be something that like you're like oh my gosh like I don't know I don't know if we're gonna make it through this just know that you it is going to get better it's a short sorrow it's not something that's going to last a lifetime it's something that you're going to overcome really quick so that is what i see for you pile number two thank you so much for watching if you haven't yet hit that consider hitting that subscribe button and become another member of our growing luminite family um yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye hello pile number three welcome to your tarot reading for the uh spring season so let's go ahead and get started with the theme that's going to be revolving around your season so what are some big prominent things that are going to be standing out this season for you the first thing that i see is the princess of pentacles so this is all about having this new idea for some sort of financial pursuit and getting really starting to not take the action but put really starting to write down all those ideas and sticking maybe sticking maybe even sticking to one idea that you're going to pursue financially so this might be a small business that you want to pursue um this might be a side business a high side hustle some sort of um financial pursuit a change of career anything like that next we got the wheel of fortune card so we see some change happening uh for you this season pile number three um so so what sort of change you're going to be seeing we're seeing some sort of relationships change when I ask for clarification for what relationship change this is going to be um, so for those of you that are in not in a relationship you might end up in a relationship with um, this person that we're I'm going to show you the card to right now but if you are in a relationship this is the change that I'm seeing for you 
We have the impact and the narcissistic paradigm being charmed or used, enable, and boundaries. So some relationship change. So those of you that are... Those of you that are in a relationship, you might want to be careful with this person because they might not... They might be very... I feel like it's gonna they're gonna be kind of selfish not not to say that they're a bad person but they're gonna for some reason they're they're gonna be very more looking at themselves and what they want versus what you guys want as a couple and then for those of you that are not in a relationship if you guys are interested in somebody just be mindful of that just be very careful because this person have narcissist has narcissistic tendencies and you are an empath which means that you absorb emotions um so if somebody's treating you a certain type of way um you're basically just you're a sponge so if they're feeling a certain type of way you're gonna feel that certain type of way just because you kind of absorb those emotions like a sponge um but um just know another thing theme that i see for you is the answers you need are coming so if any of you have been questioning what to do with financially, what to do with your relationship, anything like that, the answers that you need are going to be coming very soon for you, pile number three. So next we're going to talk about uh, what will you accomplish this season. So I see a very chillaxing, very chill season for you, uh, pile number three, because first thing that we got is the four of swords. So this is all about relaxation, rejuvenation, you just kind of sitting back and relaxing this season, not really doing anything that is very vigorous or aggressive. Um, however, you are going to be showing a lot of internal strength. So some ac accomplishment that you're going to reach this season is going to be finding that inner courage and that inner strength to really stick to yourself um getting rid of any doubts um about yourself and really embracing em embracing your inner strength is going to be something that you accomplish moderation so again just like the four of swords i love synchronicities just like the four of swords we have moderation so again not you're not going to be doing anything too uh vigorous this season which honestly is not a bad thing because everybody needs that time to heal to replenish to rejuvenate for some of us it we can rejuvenate within days so for some of us we have we need a whole year to rejuvenate for you it's gonna be it's gonna be a season that you're gonna re really just take that time to uh, tune in and just kind of replenish your mind replenish your thoughts replenish everything before you get back out there and start becoming more action oriented um, so next thing you got is adjustments are required so there you're gonna you're gonna see that there are some things that need to be tuning and it might be those empathic things that you have so you absorbing those emotions you're gonna absorb that like like hey you're taking in too much you're gonna see that some adjustments that you may need is you might need some more strength and that's an accomplishment that you're gonna reach you're gonna know that you have to change you're gonna have to change in term internally you're gonna have to become more courageous more outspoken when it comes to certain things so some things that you are going to want to avoid is first we got the tower and then the princess of cups we've got the six of cups and then we've got the nine of cups we've got adventure and then we've got surrender so quite a few things here some things so some things that you're going to want to avoid it looks like there's going to be somebody that either comes up from your past so this could be an ex if you're single um or this could be this person that you're in a relationship with um you're going to want to avoid um if, any conflict that this person might bring they it might look like they're promising you like happiness and harmony and all that but that that is not the case um don't be fooled don't be decepted um this person that you're in a relationship with or somebody from your past um is going to arise and they might make you feel like your everything and everything like that and everything's gonna be okay this time yes girl you are everything um, yes you are everything but that does not mean that you need them that is a very false advertising a very very false advertising on their part 
um, it's not something that you should take seriously. We got some adventure, so you're gonna want to avoid adventure or anything too crazy. Like I said, these are not. This is not the season to be fo focusing on anything too vigorous and anything, and taking too much physical action on anything. This is going to be more of a time that you kind of relax um, and rejuvenate because for the work that is coming ahead of you after this season. So. Something to avoid is, again, surrendering to that person. Do not surrender to this person. Do not do that. Do not do that. So this might be a person for from your past. This might be uh, an ex-lover, an ex-friend, um, some sort of toxic family member. Somebody from your past is going to just pop up like a daisy and they're going to promise you that everything's going to be good, that you guys are going to be good friends. Do not do not be fooled by that illusion that's not the case so what should you embrace so we got the eight of swords here we've got the star we've got patience we've got health and then we've got self-discipline so some things that you are going to be embracing this month so just like I said you're not gonna be any doing anything too vigorous which means that you're not gonna be taking any sort of very stressful um, actions so one thing that you're going to be able to embrace this season is going to be focusing on your health really taking that time to relax and really replenish the temple nor that temple that is your body um, Another thing that I see you embracing is some self-discipline. So again, really tuning into your inner self and your inner strength and your inner courage and finding that strength within you to basically become more outspoken and standing your ground. Another thing that I see you embracing is patience, you know, because you're not taking any vigorous action this, this season. It's, you're going you're gonna to take that time, take a step back, and you're just really going to relax and it's going to teach you some patience this season. Um, some other things that I see you embracing is the star, which is all about dreaming, which is all about hope. So you taking that time to really replenish and rejuvenate your mind, you're going to be able to get a new mental breakthrough and really start imagining what you want in the long run after the season is over and seeing the bigger picture of your hopes and dreams. And then the last thing that I see is the eight of swords. So kind of, so another thing that I see you embracing is this so this is going to be some sort of like i said some sort of situation where you're going to feel like it's hard to get out of you're going to feel like this is an impossible situation to get out of but just know you're going to have that strength to overcome this situation some obstacles that you're going to be facing this uh season is going to be one the four of cups the fool letting go so again, this is going to be somebody that might be arising from your past or this is going to be the person that you are in a relationship with. This is going to be somebody that you're going to have to either, you're going to have to let these, this person go. Um, this That's going to be an obstacle that you're going to have to face. You're going to have to learn how to stand your ground. Um, so the fool, again, this is all about uh, trusting yourself and taking that leap of faith, really tuning into yourself and your inner strength in order to become outspoken, in order to let go of that person. Um, and then another thing that I see you, another obstacle that you're going to face is the Four of Cups. So I feel like you... Uh, going through this with this other person again this might be again like i said this might be a significant other this is going to be some somebody that springs up from your past you dealing with this you're gonna be really thinking about like hey this person's promising me this this person's gonna be promising me this but really take that time to really think about it and don't forget that yes they were good with this but they were empty on these promises, if that makes any sense. So that's gonna be another obstacle that you're gonna to have to face is really tuning into yourself and knowing that you're stronger than that. So where are you going to find support? We're gonna find support. So you pile number three are going to find support in the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups character. So you're going to turn towards somebody that's again, very emotionally balanced. This could, be a male figure but some of you it might not be a male figure just somebody that you really trust with your emotions somebody that you know has gone through a lot of stuff and knows how to handle it quite well somebody that you're gonna tor turn to for support um, as well as ace of pentacles so toning 
again like the page of the page of pentacles that we got in the beginning there's going to be some sort of idea that you have so turning into that idea that whatever uh new thing that you want to start it's going to be some sort of financial thing that you want to start really turning into that for support is going to be a way of really getting out of your head what action do you need to take this season we got some eight of wands so that's some swift movement however 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 even though we're gonna get some swift movement this is going to be this is going to take the form of either some invitations from some people some social events um some letters between you and another person some sort of messages i see you some actions that you should be taking is just really taking the time to enjoy yourself honestly um, with the Eight of Wands, you might be invited to some celebrations, some virtual celebrations if you're not going out in public. Maybe even starting a, some sort of like either like a book club or um, like a girls night. If you want to do it virtually, you can. But just really turning into your... your find what, what's fun again in your life. Do you get what I mean? Like another thing another action that you need to take is the nine of swords again this is all about like replenishment again this is all about replenishment and like rejuvenating you might be stressed out at times so really take that time to really find what's fun for you again and what makes you happy another uh thing that i see you embracing is forgiveness so while you have to let go so while there is going to be somebody that springs up that might be a little bit toxic that um you're gonna know is not entirely truthful you're gonna have to let go of you are eventually going to um forgive them and it's going to make you a stronger and better person so some advice for you is we got the emperor and the king of wands so this is you some advice and encouragement that your spirit guide is telling you is that know that deep within yourself you've got that power to really embrace your confident self you have that strength within you and it's just waiting there like a lion just waiting to be let out because we got the king of wands and the king of wands is ruled by the fire signs it's ruled by it's ruled by when i think of the king of wands i think of like a leo so embrace that inner lion inside of you that's waiting to roar because spirit is telling you that you do have that strength within you you have it you have it you just got to tap into it we got the deer which is take note of the messages and the whispers secrets adrift in the breeze so spirit is going to be sending you messages just like letting you know that you got this that you have strength that you have power so whatever some simplifies power to you i feel like for some of you um spirit is telling me lions like i said before lions might be a sign that you see from the your spirit guides that is basically telling you and that's going to be how your spirit guide reminds you that um you're powerful and you're stronger and you're more courageous than you know another message that we have for you is through music you reclaim life's magic and grow strong in body and soul oh i love this so another message that Spirit is going to send, be sending you is pay attention to the music that you're listening to. You're suddenly going to start to hear songs that really pump you up, that really make you feel more confident. Pay attention to those lyrics because those are Spirit Guide's messages for letting you know that you are a very confident and strong person and letting you know that you have that strength within you. So whatever, whatever songs really make you feel pumped and motivated, listen to those. Listen to those because that's going to give you the strength that you need. So for your Zodiac card is be careful and avoid a loss. You are going to be going through a loss. Um, I mean, you are going to be going through a loss, but this might be another loss. So, so, so some other person don't turn in the person that's bad for you. Don't turn in the person that's good for you for the person that's bad for you, if that makes any sense. Um, and then I see a great future for you. Don't be disappointed. Um, so while you're going to be letting go of someone, um, I see you really, I see that in the end that's going to really reward you. Um, so we got the nine of wands. So that's really standing your ground and really learning how to stand up for yourself and finally standing up for yourself. And then we've got the living room. So the living room is a time when we come home from work we just want to go to the living room right and like watch tv or that's the room where we generally like to spend time like replenishing and relaxing so just really take that time to like relax um this season pile number three 
So that is what I see for you, pile number three. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, if you haven't yet, hit consider hitting that subscribe button and become another a member of our growing Luminite family. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, hello, pile number four. Welcome to your reading for spring of this year. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards for you for your theme for this month. So what are some big prominent things that are going to happen for you this, not this month, I'm sorry, this season? So first we got the Magician, um, which is really cool because this is the same as um, pile number one. They also got the Magician. We got the Muse of Inspiration, also otherwise known as the Page of Wands. We got It's Time to Release Negativity, which is the Full Moon in Scorpio. We've got Creativity. These are all going to be themes for this um, season, pile number four. So some things that I see for you. First of all, let's, where should we start? Like, where should we start? Okay. You're going to be working on some creative things. So you're also going to be very into, just like pile number one, you're also going to be very influenced by this um, fiery energy that we're going to be having um, during this Aries season. You're going to be very fueled by curiosity. Uh, creativity so you're gonna be inspired to do something new to start some sort of creative outlet if you're some you're, if you're already into something that's that, that that's creative you're, you're gonna be more into it um, if you have any creative blockages those are all gonna be done and over with and you're gonna your, your creative side is just gonna be booming um, you're gonna have everything that you need within you to really just work on your creative side Everything's going to begin subsiding. You're not gonna have any mental blockages any sort of creative blockages any writers block artist block Anything like that is going to be done and over with And it's time to release that so it's time to get rid of that. That's going to be done done <laughs> Some accomplishments that I see for you pile number four is uh, the hanged muse so you sacrificing um, and doing something selfless for someone else um, really being outspoken with the ace of voice I see you having some sort of mental breakthrough um, and this might just be having some mental breakthrough within yourself um, because you're gonna get the you got the uh, you are good enough um, card another thing that I see you accomplishing is looking at yourself internally and finally loving and loving what you see having this breakthrough in your mental in your mental health and really starting to move forward from that and growing as a person internally i also see you accomplishing some sort of adventure um so whether this be like traveling or whether you're you're going to be taking on like i said another creative outlet it's going to be something that's of, of an adventure for you that you're going to accomplish this season pile number four some things that you should avoid this season, pile number four, is first we've got the Queen of Emotions, the Tower, and then we've got the Triumph of Lies. So some things that I see you uh, avoiding this month is there's going to be some sort of change, right? And I see you trying to guard yourself either emotionally for from it in sort of putting on this face even though you're going to, it's going to be something that really hurts you inside you're going to show everyone like tough skin and you're going to act as if nothing is going wrong this sometime this season for you pile number four please do not do that spirit is saying to avoid that to avoid all those lies and putting on this hard face putting on this front for other people you do not have to do that when it especially when it comes to the people that care about you you do not have to put this face that you're that you're okay even if you're not because there are going to be there that want to support you that are going to want to help you through this but if you're acting as if you're fine and you don't need them that's going to be hard for them to do. So that's something that you should avoid doing is closing yourself off like that. So some things that I see you embracing. We've got the nine of materials. We've got the eight of materials. We've got showing the world the real you. We've got spiritual partnership and spiritual career. So I, I okay, so this is all like financial stuff. We've got you either going, 
you might either start seeing like a mentor or really be embracing some sort of spiritual career that you want to achieve. There might be something spiritual you want to do. You might want to learn how to read tarot cards professionally. You might want to learn how to just some sort of spiritual career that you want to take. You might be selling some spiritual objects. Some sort of spiritual career that you're going to take is going to be something that you focus on this season. I see you working really hard on it with the Eight of Materials. This is you working really hard on some sort of financial pursuit um, and you seeing some accomplishment with it. Um, and you're going to be showing the world the real you. So you're really going to be embracing that spiritual side of you, that spiritual career. I see you really, like I said, really coming to your true self, really showing the world who you truly are. Um, so like I said, avoid, avoid blocking yourself off emotionally because you blocking yourself off emotionally, people aren't going to get to know the real you. They're going to get to know the live or the untruthful version of you. So some obstacles that you're going to face is we got the hero fence. We got the Muse of Voices, um, and then we got Hope, Big Water, and then we have I Won't Cry For You. So, like I said before, this kind of goes hand in hand with what you should avoid. Um, some things that I see, some obstacles that I see you facing is, like I said, there's going to be a time when you just feel truly, truly alone, and you're going to want to put on this hard face, like this card that says the I won't cry for you and same thing with big water big water is being full of emotions and it's gonna be some sort of time where you're gonna feel really retreated and secluded and you're gonna want to block yourself off emotionally you're not gonna want to cry for people you're gonna put on some tough skin even though you're not feeling that way internally it's gonna be something that you're gonna you're gonna have to you're gonna have to not do this because there's people that are gonna want to help you you're gonna feel alone if you if you don't show people your true emotions you're going to feel even more alone when there's people that really really care about you and really really want to help you so with the muse of voices this is you an obstacle that you're gonna have to face is learning how to be outspoken is you learning how to be outspoken and really speak out and communicating with others of how you truly feel um, inside because there are people that want to help you through this. So do not block yourself off emotionally um, to other people because you are going to be, it's just going to make you feel more alone. So don't do that and actually speak up and communicate. So where are you going to find support? We've got the Knight of Materials and we've got the Seven of Materials. We got what do you need to release and we've got pride. <laughs> okay, so just like I'm saying, there are so many people. So where can you turn to for support? There are so many people that are waiting to support you. However, you're gonna let, do not let pride get in your way because you're gonna wanna let pride get in your way. You're gonna wanna put on that front that you're gonna be, that you're okay and that you don't need anyone. Don't do that, don't do that. Don't let pride get in your way because there's so many people that wanna support you. So what do you need to release? You need to release that pride is what you're gonna need to release in order for other people to come to you to support you. Um, so we got Knight of Materials and we got the Seven of Materials. So. Really letting go, letting go of that pride in order for other people to support you and you're going to find those people that truly care about you just appear once you break down that wall, that tough exterior and really showing your true emotions. You're going to have people that have just honestly, honestly, genuinely want to help you because they care about you. Um, some other things that you could go to for support is going to be your seven of materials and your knight of materials. So I see for a lot of you, like I said, this is going to be a spiritual career that you're going to want to embrace. You're going to be really going on that spiritual side. And that might be why, that might be why you don't want to show people your emotions because you feel like being a light worker, being very spiritual, that you have to always be put together and you always have to be happy when that's not the case. We go through those shadow periods, even somebody that's very spiritual, spiritual is going to go through their shadow periods where you, they don't feel the best and that's okay because we're all human we're all imperfect we're all here to learn lessons so letting go of that and not not keeping that pride like oh i have to be perfect because i'm this spiritual person and people come to me for inspiration so i have to always keep it together that's not always the case people will embrace you and they will love you 
when you're truly being yourself however that may look like um so some other ways some other things that you could turn to for support this month is going to be um again whatever spiritual career that you have or that you're embracing so some action that you need to take this season is going to be um again working on your um spiritual career or your finances um with the uh six of materials here and not only that but being being generous so whether you give people actual gifts you don't have to or whether you just give pe giving people that care about you that time um to show that you care is another th action that um you're going to want to take this month also being strong and knowing that strength isn't always keeping a tough exterior strength is knowing when to seek for help is another thing another action that you should be taking this season domestic harmony so really finding that harmony that balance within yourself that balance externally working through your fears those those prideful fears working through those fears is another action that i see you taking this season um and then lastly we have your advice cards so you have and then we have your advice so we have temperance which is all about balance and i feel like this is balancing out um this is you balancing out how to a really how to really like turn into others for support um, as well as like f taking care of your you're gonna be going through some stuff so balancing out your issues and also taking care of the work because I see you focusing on these other issues that are gonna arise as well as focusing on some um, financial aspect so I see you really um, Spirit wants you to know that you're going to be able to, you have that ability to balance, the, to balance that out. A decision once made will be followed by unwavering action. So that's another piece of advice you have for you with a cheetah. So also you're going to be manifesting. Another piece of advice is knowing that whatever, whatever you think you will manifest and you i feel like you are a very spiritual being you are a very spiritual person so you know this so keeping it all together is not when really you're like going crazy inside that may appear to you as manifesting because you're like oh no i have it all together i have it all together but that is not always the case with manifestation. Know that there is going to be some periods where you go through some shadow periods. But that, is, that doesn't mean that you're, neg that you're manifesting negative things. No, because if you're moving forward from it, and instead of just acting as if it's not there and letting it eat you up inside, and learning how to heal from it, and truly healing from it, then you'll be able to manifest a lot faster because then you'll go through this because then you'll get over this shadow period and be stronger than ever and then manifest more than ever if that makes any sense so conclusions are within reach so just know whatever issues that arise it's coming to a close and you're going to start seeing some fun some a lot of uh you're you're, you're at the end of that journey um whatever struggles you're going through um, so, so for your zodiac card we got you are loved by all who come in contact with you so just like I said you're a very inspi inspirational person you inspire a lot of people which is why I feel like you have that pride because you feel like you always have to keep it together because a lot of people are inspired by you you know the people love the real you the realness of you in they don't always want to see you keep it together and I don't mean that in a bad way I mean that as like they want to see that you're human they want to see that you have all these emotions um, so like page of inspiration you're a very inspirational person but people are going to be inspired by you when they even more when they see your weaknesses and the fact that you can overcome them and you know when to ask for help they're going to be like oh wow that's going to also be an inspiration for them you inspire you give people hope you give people hope a lot of people have very positive opinions on you but like i said that doesn't always mean that you have to keep it together and then the ace of materials so you um 
you are somebody that likes to pursue financial goals um, and that's another thing that you inspire in others as well so yes do not let pride get in your way pile number four don't 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 you are an amazing person and you are able to manifest great things anyways pile number four thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to be notified when I post next I post videos like these all about the mystical the magical the supernatural the occult <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video